Hey Queens, I'm Bailey. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to be going over my, is this my third update? Yeah, this is my third update to my Project Pan for 2022. This is my rolling Project Pan, so it's like a full face, everything but eyeshadow because I have a separate project for that. Um, so before I get started, everyone hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, everyone hit that like button because it would help your girl out. Uh, let's get into this. I think I have everything in front of me. I could be wrong. Um, I've made a lot of progress in some areas and not so much in others. That's how it goes. Um, first thing is my Well People Bio Booster Oil Drops. I used this a total of 24 times this month and it weighed 36 grams at the beginning of the month. However, I'm gonna chalk that up to the packaging because it's glass so it's very heavy and it was very hard for me to get use out of this in the beginning because I realized that it was making me look cakey throughout the day um because I was using it as a primer and so I just noticed that my face would just look a little cakey or like broken up and it just kind of looked weird so I was like gosh I can't use this on my face anymore so instead I started just using it on my neck and and that's just how I got use out of it. I didn't see any necessary like benefits to it other than my neck getting some attention that it normally doesn't get. And I have used it up completely. I cannot get any more out, so I'm considering it done. Next is my Benefit Professional uh, Primer. I used it a total of 29 times, and at the beginning of the month, it weighed 14 grams. It now weighs 10 grams. I used four grams of product. I mean, I use this every time I do my makeup. And now when I go to like, here, I'll show you. When I go to like squeeze it up, so I push and I push and I push. I don't wanna to push too hard because I don't want it to come out. But I'm coming about, push it a little bit more. Right there, that's where I'm at. This is where I'm at. I have hardly any, any in here left, and I imagine that I will finish this this month. Super, super excited about that. Um, and then I'll be talking about new things that I plan on rolling in um, when I go through all my old stuff. Next is my Aesthetica Bronzer. Um, this is in the shade Sunset Bronzer. I actually looked on their website, they don't have these anymore, like they're gone, which is really sad. I love this bronzer, I like the way that it looks. Um, I like that I can use a soft hand or, or a heavy hand, just however I'm feeling that day. I used this a total of 29 times. This was completely flat when I brought it in, like I hardly used this at all, maybe a handful of times. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but there is a good dip. I like focus in this area of my bronzer a lot and I'm starting to see a pretty good dip in it and I'm hoping within the next couple months I'll hit pan. That's my goal. I'm not trying to finish this up. I'm just trying to hit pan on it. So next is my ColourPop Hello Kitty and Friends Blush in at Frost Sight. My goal for this was just to get some use out of it. That's all I wanted to do. Um, for the last like couple summer months, or not summer, <laughs> winter months. Um, and that's what I did. I got 23 uses out of it in March. And you could still see the top of her ears last month, but now you cannot. A lot of the imprint at the top is smoothed away. So that's really good. Happy I got some use out of it. I will be rolling another blush in, so we'll be seeing that later. Next is my Becca Highlight in Opal. Um, same thing, I was just trying to get some use out of this. Um, I used it a total of 24 times this month. I don't use a lot of it because it is so dark for me. I probably should have waited to put this in my project till the summer, but it is what it is. Um, so this is what it looks like now. I already had pan in it, and basically I was just trying to drag the pan downwards, and I did do that. Um, but there's not as much visual progress as I wish there was, but it is what it is. Next is my Joa Mascara. So, <laughs> I, I didn't even bother weighing it 
uh, because I'm considering it done. I used it a total of seven times before I decided it was done. It's just at the point where it's just too dry and it doesn't look the same. And you know how when you use a mascara for so long and you're like, okay, it's, it's time. You know, that's kind of just how I feel with this. So I am considering my Joa mascara finish. Next is the Lunar Skies Cosmetics uh, Lip Gloss in Cafe Dreams. This is a indie brand that no longer exists. You can no longer get this gloss, hence why it is in my project pan. Um, at the beginning of the month, it weighed 28 grams. I used it seven times, plus some uh, reapplications, and now it weighs 26 grams, so I've used two grams up. So that's good. I'm getting some good use out of it. I am not seeing any openings or gaps or anything yet, so I just feel like these glosses are going to be long hauls, <laughs> so that's, that's fun. Um, and then the last thing, oh, wait, no, <laughs> um, I almost forgot to talk about my Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin um, Liquid Lipstick. I used it a total of seven times. I think it weighed 20 grams at the beginning of the month. I'm not weighing it. I'm considering it done. It's just too hard to get product out now. I'm like scraping and scraping. Like, look, I don't know if you can even see like all of the scraping. I have to sneeze so bad. Is it gonna happen? Ugh. Oh, that hurts so bad. Anyways, so I finished a lipstick. So happy about that. Um, I'm actually not gonna be rolling in another Jeffree Star lipstick. I decluttered majority of them because they just smelled so bad and they smell like they've gone off. I have three of them left and two of them are reds and one is a, what is this? A, this is like a ready brown. It's so dark. Um, I can't wear them to work. So, I'm gonna try to use them as much as possible before they go off and maybe I'll finish them. Maybe I'll just end up decluttering, we'll see. But I will be rolling something else in and replace this though. The last thing um, that I had was my John to Blue eyeliner in dark brown. Now I've been talking about how like, I just, I don't really like this eyeliner. It doesn't really stay on my waterline or anything. I used it a total of five times and because I don't really, I don't enjoy it. It's not a good product at all. It doesn't really do much anyways. I'm decluttering it. I'm, I'm getting rid of it. I don't need the hate pan, an eyeliner that I only put on my waterline. So getting rid of this. All right. Now onto the things that I am rolling in. I've added um, some other steps of my routine into this just because why not? Um, I'm already focusing on a one product at a time, so I might as well just put them in my project pan. Um, so first I'm rolling in my Georgette Clinger Marula Primer. I did focus on this some, uh, last year and I've been using it some this month after I finished the, uh, or after I decided to use the oil on my neck, I started using this. I'm almost out of this. It weighs 13 grams. I think that's mostly the cap because uh, the cap's pretty like sturdy, I guess. Um, but yeah, this thing's definitely almost out. I can just tell. Uh, then I wanted to also bring in the Shiseido Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer just because I do have, oh wow, I only have this much left in here. Ooh. Let me actually mark it. I ended up just weighing it, but I'm gonna mark it instead. Well, I weighed it and it weighs 29 grams. Maybe I'll continue to weigh it because it looks like some products it's up here, but I'm gonna mark it. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So anyways, I am gonna start using this after I finish the professional because I know I'm gonna finish this. I know it's gonna happen. So I might as well just roll something else in. Uh, next, I am rolling in a setting spray. I had a setting spray in January and I'm pretty sure I finished it that same month or I finished it in February. Either way, I don't have a lot of setting sprays. I think I have this one and one other one. Yeah, and I just finished another. So 
I mean, I'm only going to be working on this one. Um, so I might as well put it in here. This is the Wet n Wild Blooming setting spray. This setting spray is beautiful. I love it. It's got the shimmer in it. So pretty. I love it. So I just, okay. Not only does it go onto your skin beautifully, but the smell, the smell of this stuff is intoxicating. Whenever I see this around, I'm going to pick this up. And I know it's only limited edition, but oh my gosh, it's so good. I love it. I love it. Um, to replace my ColourPop bronzer because I only wanted to get use out of it during the winter months because it's a cool pink shade. I want to bring in this guy again. I worked on this last year. This is my Alomar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio. This is the original one. I got it in BoxyCharm. And last year I panned Paraiso. And I know there's still some in the corners. I don't care about that. I don't. Um, so I want to focus on Scorcher, which already has a tiny bit of pan in it. And then once I finish Scorcher, I'm going to go to Castaway, depending on how long it takes me. Um, Castaway, I feel like is a good blush that I can use in summer and fall. So if this takes me in the summer, and I finish it in the summer and then I start this in the summer and go into fall, that's fine. I think I can finish both of them up during the summer and fall months because honestly, it's not that hard to like get through these. Like it's so easy. I think this one only took me a handful of months. Well, not even a handful. I think it was like two or three. So I don't expect that it'll be too hard to get through these. Um, then I want to roll in a highlighter for my Becca one because I'm tired of using it. Um, this is from the Kevin Aquan uh, contour book. I hate everything in this palette except for the highlights. So I want to like use up the highlights and then just declutter this palette. I know, I know this is going to take me a while. I may have to during a refresh because I'm going to refresh every three months and that's kind of what I'm doing here. Um, I'm going to start off with flash okay I, I'm gonna try to use it up but if at some point I'm like okay I'm done then I'll, I'll allow myself to take it out but I am gonna use flash for right now it, it's been used maybe once maybe once so I just want to get this clunky palette out of my collection um in place of the Joa mascara I want to roll in this tint mascara it also has a brow gel side but it's too warm for my brows it does not look good I don't like it mm -mm. no 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 the color is not for me I have a cool extremely extremely dark brown hair this is not gonna work for me but I will use the mascara I have been using it since I finished the Joe one, I just haven't been tallying my uses, which probably should have, but that's okay. It's okay. And there's not a ton of product in here. I did weigh it. Um, it's 22 grams. Part of that is probably the packaging because the packaging is metal. Uh, so it is a pretty heavy product, but we'll see how this goes. I imagine it'll take me about the same time that I did with the Joe mascara, about three months, if not less. I forgot to tell you about my Jeffree Star lip liner, which has gotten 21 uses. Look at it. Look at that nub. I, I am very hopeful. I will finish this here pretty soon. Um, yeah, cause it's so easy to use and it's getting really hard to sharpen. So I imagine like I'll be done with this anyways. So because I think I'm going to finish my Jeffree Star lip liner, I want to roll in the Cozy Kira lip liner from Beauty Vault. I'm pretty sure I was panning this last year as well. And I took it out because Cozy Kira and Androgyny were very much the same shade. So I feel like it'll be no problem for me to use this as well. And uh, I don't know. Oh, maybe it's not even halfway done, but I did mark it on my page. So... Next month, I'll mark it again, and we'll be able to see how much I'm able to use up. I do plan on using up that whole thing, and it will take me some time, and I know that. Ugh. 
In replacement of the John to Blue eyeliner, I want to roll in the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner in Sunnyvale. This is just a brown eyeliner. Um, <laughs> I weighed it because, okay, these are so bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these eyeliners are so not the best quality. <laughs> like, I love the formula of these liners, but they just break easily in here. So I'm not gonna like, you know, try to measure it. I weighed it, it's two grams, but I don't imagine we'll see much progress that way. Um, so we'll just have to track my uses and see how it goes. It's gonna take me a long time because, I mean, it, I, I really only use these in my waterline, so it is what it is, but at least I'm focusing on one because I have two cream gel liners from ColourPop that are brown, so gotta, gotta do something here. To replace my Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin Lipstick, I decided to roll in my Lime Crime Plushie in Chocolate Milk. This is a... It's not an op- well, I guess this one's more opaque than the others, but it's not an opaque- it's like an ultra blotted lip from Colourpop. That's what it's like. Um, the shade is a cooler brown nude, and I can make it work for work. I just like having the option of having like a warm lip option and a cooler lip option, so my lip gloss is my warm option and my liquid lipstick is my cooler option, so you know, you get the vibe. But um, I can easily wear this to work. Uh, Reapplication, not really a thing, but I do wear this quite a bit and I already have one gap, so I'm hoping it won't take me too long to finish it up, but we'll see. And the last thing I'm bringing in, because I have not been panning a powder, which well, okay, so I was using solely like my Cody Airspun Translucent Powder, which I should have just had my, in my project pan, um, but I finished it. And I was like, I might as well just bring in a powder because why not? I'm only gonna be using one powder dedicated to it. And this is the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in Translucent. Um, I took the sifter out <coughs> because uh, the sifter sucked and I couldn't get any powder out. So we will be doing this by weight. And this weighs 38 grams. Um, so that that seems like a lot. I think a lot of that is packaging. I think a lot of that is packaging. And I really don't think it'll take me that long to go through this. So um, I'm, I'm pretty sure I got everything. I almost forgot my Jeffree Star lip liner. But I think that is everything for my Project Pan for 2022. This is my March update. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying my journey for this year with Project Panning. Um, I have definitely learned a lot about my collection Project Panning, especially in my lipstick collection. I have decluttered so much, so, so much. I feel like I need to go out and buy more lipstick because I feel like I don't have a lot of nudes anymore and I need some more nudes. For work. I can't be wearing bright colors to work. You know what I'm saying? I can't be doing that. So anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that notification bell, and everyone hit that like button because it would help your girl out. You guys have a good one now. Bye-bye.